welcome you all to my channel it is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut your kaftan with side slits so this form of kaftan will be having side slits okay so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this your shoulder measurement bust waist hip and your gown length now our shoulder measurement is 18 divided by 2 we have 9 our bust is 44 44 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 13 inches our waist is 42 42 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12.5 our hip is 49 49 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 49 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 14.25 our gown length is 55 plus 2 inches we have 57 inches so these are the measurements required in order for you to achieve your abaya or your kaftan with size slits don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on trainings are available both online training and physical training so now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe Turn on the notification bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up. To do now is to cut our kaftan with side slits. So I've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into four. After that, we are going to go ahead and mark our basic measurements. Okay, so our shoulder to bust we have 10 inches. We have 10 inches. Bust to waist, we have 9 inches. Waist to hip, we have 9 inches. So I have a detailed video on how to get your distance calculation, which includes your shoulder to bust, bust to waist. I'm going to go ahead and put down the link of the video in the description box below. So after taking your measurements now, the next thing we have to do is to mark our basic measurement. Your measurements, you have to start from this folded edge, okay? Now you go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurements, which is 9 inches. Mark our shoulder measurements. On our bust line, we we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurements, which is 13 inches on our waistline we'll go ahead and mark our waist measurements which is 12.5 on the hip line now we'll go ahead and mark our hip measurements which is 14.25 now we have our gown length and we are still going to mark what we have for our hip measurements is what you are going to mark for your gown length so we have 14.5 we'll also mark 14.5 also for our gown length so you go ahead now and connect what you have on your waist on your hip line to your gown length now that you connect your bust to waist and then your waist to your hip so this is what you are going to take down. Now you go ahead and connect your shoulder line to your bust line. This way you can see what we have. Now if you want your lower side to be free, if you want your lower side to be free, while you are connecting what you have on your hip to your gown length, you go ahead and do this in a slant shape if you want to have like very free movement around the lower side although our kaftan is still going to have slits at the side so you can decide to slant it this way or you just keep it straight but preferably it's better you slant it this way okay so it depends on what you want once you are done with that the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your neckline so for the wideness of my neckline i'll be making it of three and half 
I'll make it of three and a half inches for the wideness. For the front depth, I'll be making it of for the front depth, I'll make it of keyhole neckline. So I have six inches for my front depth. And then for the back, I have two inches. So this is basically what we are going to have. So this is the back neckline. This is the round neckline for the front. And then I'll open it up to my six inches because we are having our key O neckline. So once you are done now on your arm O, go ahead and mark your half inch for your shoulder slope. And then you slant it this way. So this is basically what our abaya is going to look like so we'll go ahead now and cut this out after cutting it out this is what we have so guys after cutting it out this is what we have for our neckline our arm o and the lower part i just slanted it just very little so we'll go ahead now and set this aside now where you want to sew it you can either use your bias or your facing to turn the neckline it totally depends on what you want so for the sleeve now we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into four once we are done with that you go ahead and mark your round sleeve so our round sleeve is 18 inches 18 divided by two we have nine and then we'll go ahead and add one and a half inch for our sewing allowance we have ten and a half now for the round arm this lower part we'll go ahead now and we have we have 12 inches divided at this upper part now we'll go ahead and mark three and a half inches go ahead and mark three and a half inches connect it to the upper arm and then you connect it to your round sleeve this is what you are going to have so this is what we are going to have for the sleeve the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out so guys after cutting it out this is what we are going to have for our sleeve and we are going to have two pieces for the sleeve so we'll go ahead now and set this aside ahead now to cut out my interface which is lining so i'm basically turning it with lining you can go ahead and turn yours with either bias or facing it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead now and open this up and place my lining on it this way i'll stitch the neckline stitch the sides and i'll go ahead and turn it out for the two pieces once i'm done with that i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now we've gone ahead now to turn both our front block and the back block so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to make use of our bust measurements which is 42 divided by 2 we have 22 inches we have 22 inches so we have two inches for the ss here we have 24 inches and what we need is 22 inches so we'll go ahead and mark one inch on both sides so we are basically making use of the bust measurement your waist measurement to couple this up now another thing you also have to do is to mark where your slit is going to start from okay where you want your slit to get up to and note that it is optional okay so for me i want it somewhere around my knee area so i'll go ahead now and mark it it simply means that i'm going to stitch my bust my waist up to this point where i want my slit to start now the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and take our sleeve it's actually very easy guys so we'll go ahead and take our sleeve now and attach it to our basic gown this way we'll attach our sleeve to our gown once we are done with that we'll show you guys what it looks like so guys once you are done with that this is what we have you can see our key old neckline and then we have our long dress all the way 
down so you can see the lower side where we did stitch giving us the slit effect at both sides and this is basically what it looks like so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one